let's have a look at some sampling and non-sampling errors. So let's start with some non-sampling errors. This is just a reminder of some of the different types of non-sampling errors. So we've got our non-response. So that's looking at our response rate. And the idea is that the people that respond and don't respond could have different views. Okay. Selection error is when you've got a group that is excluded or underrepresented in the sample. Um, a response error is looking at the fact that the answers may not be always truthful. Um, selection, self selection, that's when people volunteer, and that means people with strong opinions could be have a different opinion. Um, so that means that those people are that opinion is overrepresented or what creates bias. And survey error, that's like some of our things from our questionnaire design topic, looking at the wording of the questions, is it a biased question, a leading question, is it neutral, the order in which they've been asked, um, have they got all the optional answers in there, or have they got some things that are missing, so looking at the errors that are inbuilt into that. So that's the non-sampling. The other thing, one type was our sampling error, and remember with our sampling error, as soon as you take a sample, we have sampling error, okay? Otherwise, we, if we take a census, we've got everybody in the population, therefore there wouldn't be sampling error. So let's have a look at what we've been told here. So we've got, we know that it's an in-home face-to-face survey, um, and this was done in 2010. This was, we've got a sample size there of people aged 15 years and over, and we've got a response rate. Now this is an interesting one. Response rate of 57%. And then they've given us some specific information about the different number in each category. Okay, so let's start with that idea, that face, that 57%. So that's our response rate. So I'll just write this down. Response rate is 57%. So that means the non-response rate, so the people who were asked to participate but chose not to, that is 43%. So from all of the people that were asked, 50, we've got information, a whole bunch of information about 57% of them, but we've got no information about the other 43% that we asked. So for a survey, a response rate of 57% is actually really great. So that part of my evaluation is to say um, the response rate of 57% is very high for a survey. Um, of 57% is very high for a survey. This means that we have a lot of information about 57% of people that were asked to participate. Okay, so that's a good thing. Okay. However, and this is where the non-response error comes in. So however, um, the non-response rate is 43%. So this means we have no information no information about 43% of people who were asked. Okay, so the, then I need to explain the error side of it. Um, the views or in this case, the usage of sunbeds, sunburn, um, vitamin D knowledge, um, etc. 
could be quite different for these non-responders. Um, this is um, non-response error. Okay, so there's an evaluation of that. Let's have a look at what other possible ones we could have. So looking at our selection error, um, looking at how truthful the answers were, and we touched on that a little bit in the measures and variables. People identifying did they use sunbeds or not, remembering whether or not they've had sunburns over the last 12 months. Okay, um, so that could be another one. So our response error. People were asked if they used a sunbed in the last 12 months. And if they had um, if they got sunburned in this time. So people's memories may not be particularly good over a 12 month period. So people's memories over this time, over this long time, may not be very accurate. leading to inaccurate data and for excellence I would go into that in a little more detail and talk about how actually people are more likely to say less times being sunburnt oh, I was only sunburnt twice when they may have been sunburnt 10 times because because it's a sensitive issue they don't want people to know that they were burnt a lot more and aren't taking care of themselves so therefore the data that we've got is probably much lower than I would expect to see. Okay, the true answer is likely to be higher than the data that they have. So additionally, we could talk about um, self-selection and people who have chosen to respond to this. Um, we can talk about the over and underrepresented groups and so on. But hopefully that now gives you some ideas of things that you can talk about in this category.